Welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald and my studio tour. Hope you enjoy how I cram so much into such a little space. Hello everybody, this is a tour of my little Arts and Crafts studio. Probably with a little bit of help from little Lily there, who's having a little sleep outside. So, as you can see, it's a summer house really, with two doors on the front and some windows as well and the uh, door there you can see got blown open by the wind and the glass got smashed so it's been boarded up until i replace it with some glass so going in i'm sorry if this is a bit wobbly it's just that um i'm holding the camera so what's really important i think about uh art studio is storage without a doubt this isn't a very big space um but I cram an awful lot in here, as you can see. And um, every space is utilized as much as possible with some sort of storage solution. As you can see here, I've got storage boxes. In there, I've got my pencils and pens that I use. And then going down one, I've got paints. So in that box there, there's um, oil paints and some more oil paints underneath and my acrylics at the side. And that's just a, a little plastic plate that I use as a palette. In there is some uh, glass paints and some small beads. And in there is this wood and my carving tools. So that's a sharpener. So um, I do some hand car carving all whittling. a lot of people say I whittle um, and then beside it there's where I keep my boards uh, canvas boards and other bits and pieces and behind it there is generally quite a lot of uh, canvases or boxes where I've kept pictures in different bits and pieces there and as you can see I don't mind anywhere there's my Dremel clamp uh, a daylight um, light over the door when it gets dark. I keep wood up there as well. So every space is utilized. What is really important is having plenty of sockets, power sockets around. So I have power sockets there. And I also have power sockets there. And sometimes I use an extension cable. You'll see there's hooks on the ceiling and that's where I hook my boom when I'm recording. Uh, that's what holds my camera while I'm recording uh, so I don't have to worry about it and it makes it a nice and smooth video unlike this one is probably going to be I also have a work surface this side as you can see there's some uh, alcohol ink pictures that I had used my glass grinder for when I'm using or making stuff out of glass so stained glass windows or or stained glass boxes and things some resin pictures, I've put those videos up already. I use aerial boxes that the tabs come in. The storage, that's the great storage for little bits of glass that I cut for glass mosaics. There's my Dremel attachments and some of my safety equipment. That respirator there is a really good respirator. I got that from Amazon, didn't cost much at all. Another light, hooks everywhere on the walls, uh, holding tools that I use and my trusty Dremel. I'd be lost without my Dremel. It's something I use quite a lot with different things and I usually have it if I'm using it on the longer lady arm um, which is a lot more bendy. I have it hanging from the ceiling as well. I hang my cables and things from the ceiling. I also have a 1950s type style cupboard here underneath. It was in the shed when we um, bought the house, got rid of the shed, kept the cupboard. And inside there is my resin mugs, glitter, uh, glues, and there's stuff in the doors. Again, like I said, everything has to have its place and needs to putting away. But it does take um, less space by keeping it tidy. And this side is my um, aerosol sprays, uh, my paints that I use for um, adhesive, grouting, 
um, mosaics and priming and then in the door are the liquids that I need when I'm doing um, stained glass stuff under there is glass that's that's clear glass all wrapped up in there for clear, clear glass projects and there mirrors I had a really big mirror and it, the, the corner got broke off it so I just cut it into some large strips so that I can make different mirrors these um, steel drawers they're very very useful that top one's always been for my odds and sods and then going down I have glues and tapes in the next one and then glue gun and glue sticks and then in the left hand side over here it's all the stuff I need for um, glass work so um, lead cane copper foil um, and solder there's my Dyson I use that quite a lot in here especially if I'm sanding stuff or um, I just need to have a quick tidy up my overalls again as you can see above my shelves there are um, hooks hooks everywhere here honestly Tinkerbell would be well afraid with all the hooks that are here and Peter Pan so my lovely trusted um, dustpan and brush and there's on another hook I've got my watercolor pens silicon brushes spare new uh, paint brushes and different sandpaper grit grits they're the usually the ones from about 1500 to about 3000 grits um, my metallic acrylic paints that I use spray water I have a magnetic knife strip that I keep a lot of tools on for when I'm doing glass work so they're glass work scissors for cutting um, hot glass along with uh, different tools that I use and then below that I have my pliers that's where I keep my airbrush so it's at hand with the little compressor there don't forget that airbrush was only 28 quid bargain my alcohol inks inside that box is all my um, alcohol ink um, bits and pieces and I actually keep the little pots of or little two bottles of alcohol ink in that egg carton to keep them neat and tidy when I'm using them and inside there is where I keep the bigger bottles of pinata ink and blending solutions and things which is very very useful and under here on these shelves so I have my electronic stuff so I've got a 3d pen there pencil sharpener and different bits and pieces the tools that I might use screwdrivers and pliers and all that sort of stuff there are my oil pastels and I do quite a lot of oil pastel drawing as well and there are some of the jewellery that I've made in the past chainmail jewellery glass bead jewellery from the glass beads that I make and in those pots as well there's bracelets and different bits and pieces and there's a, a drill press from a Dremel and a Dremel router and underneath the table is a drill boxes full of uh, tools that I use for jewelry making and my bin vitally important and a great big Caligas thing and that's an old dining room table that we used to have and it's great perfect size for keeping all my stuff together and my kiln I don't tend to do kiln or glass work there's the rods there in the summer because it gets very warm in here so that's more of a winter um, craft for me above my other daylight lamp I've got a piece of wood underneath that and what I did was I screwed some jam jar lids to it and then I got storage that's actually off the work surface but easy to get to um, for glass, my hair dryer. Not that I do my hair in here, but for alcohol mm. wings and things. There's more glass there for stained glass windows and things on the sides. I've quite a lot of that. Glass rods. 
And these are old pigeonholes that I acquired and I just put all bits and bobs in there. There's my microwave with my hot pot in it which allows me to do um, some slumping of glass for jewellery if I need to without actually having to put the kiln on just for a small piece. And again, under there is a, a little set of drawers that the pigeonholes are sitting on. And they're there, really, full of bits and pieces of cuts of glass. They're all labelled colour-wise. As you can see, all my glass is labelled. It's red, white, pale green. <laughs> it helps um, for when people like me who are colour blind. And there's my oxygen producer for when I've got my torch on. And my torch goes on that table there. There is a little bit that it just fits into. So if I want to do torch work, it's there. And that creates... Um, all the oxygen to enable the flame to burn at the right speed, the right temperature even, speed, I like. So there we go, there's a quick tour, extractor fan, really important, I do use that a lot, because sometimes uh, paints and things can be a bit smelly, so put that on and if you've got your door shut, it really helps, as well as having the mask on, and there we go. So there's my studio, I hope you've enjoyed it. Oh look, there's another thing I use, Pringle tubes, for storing glass rods in as well, so I don't mix them up. Some old frames that I've sprayed that I might use for something else. So, there we go. And there's the chair that I use to sit on. Let's put that where it should be. I can just move backwards and forwards. It's a, it's a small space, works really well for me, and also, I can get everything that I need and I can get on and do whatever I like. It's great, it's very well insulated, so in the winter it isn't too cold, especially if the kiln's on. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any comments that you'd like or some other tips and tricks for making space in your studio, I'd love to see them or hear them. Thank you, bye bye. Thank you for watching the tour of my arts and crafts studio. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and push that like button. Thank you, bye.